The UX design job market is changing fast. What worked a few years ago doesn't work anymore. So if you're in the process of updating your portfolio or planning to sit down and work on it over this holiday break, this is the perfect time to get ahead of what's coming. Because based on the patterns I'm seeing, there are some new trends emerging, ones that I'm predicting will be much more common in 2026. So in this video, I wanna break down three portfolio design trends to keep a lookout for as we head into the new year. Let's start with one that's already reshaping how the best portfolios look and feel. Trend number one, video-driven portfolios will dominate. One of the biggest design trends I'm seeing lately is the rise of video in portfolios. For years, video was something you'd only really see on design agency websites, mainly because they had the budget to hire motion designers. But that's changing fast. Tools like Jitter make it extremely easy to create short, polished videos without needing any motion design experience. They have a ton of templates to choose from, and you can create something that truly feels pro in just a few minutes. And the reason this matters is simple. Video is one of the best ways to show your work. It's more dynamic, more visually engaging, and it instantly sets you apart from other designers who are still using static images. If you want to take it a step further and show animated mockups inside real devices, check out Rotato. I haven't used it yet for myself, but I would imagine that's what Thomas used to create some of these animated mockups on his portfolio. So I'll definitely be using it for future projects. All that to say, using static images in your portfolio is totally fine, but designers who use video to showcase their work will stand out immediately in 2026. And while videos add a ton of visual interest to your portfolio, there's another trend emerging that I think we'll see a lot more of in 2026, which leads me to the next trend. Trend number two, creative interactive details will set designers apart. I'm predicting for 2026 that there will be a rise of micro interactions and micro animations in design portfolios. These are the small functional animations you see on modern websites. Think hover states, animated buttons, and page transitions. All the little moments that give users feedback and guide their attention. If you're looking for inspiration, two of my favorite places to find micro interaction ideas are web interactions gallery and design spells. Both have a good collection of interaction patterns that could translate really well into a design portfolio. And thanks to no code tools like Framer, adding this level of detail to your portfolio is really easy to do. You don't need to write a single line of code. You select an effect and tweak some properties. That's it, it's that simple. They might seem like subtle touches, but those little moments add a ton of personality to your portfolio. They make it more memorable and they encourage people to keep exploring. And that that's the level of detail that'll help set you apart in 2026. But to really stand out, there's another trend that's changing how you present your work all together. Trend number three, showcases will replace case studies. The last trend I'm predicting for 2026 is a shift away from long text heavy case studies, at least in your portfolio website and moving towards something simpler like showcases. And the reason is pretty straightforward. The UX design job market has changed a lot over the last few years. Because of all the layoffs and hiring freezes recently, there are now more designers in the job market than there are open roles. So when a recruiter posts a job, they're getting hundreds, if not thousands of applicants. That said, recruiters are sifting through many portfolios in a single session. So they don't have time to read paragraph after paragraph of a long detailed case study. At this stage of the hiring funnel, recruiters want to see strong, beautiful work, not long explanations or narrative breakdowns. That's why showcases are so important. They give a quick snapshot of the work. A good showcase is visually compelling, tells a concise, compelling story, and highlights the aesthetics without overwhelming people with a mountain of text. So as we head into 2026, remember to streamline your portfolio and use showcases. Your portfolio's job is to make a strong first impression and to get someone interested enough to want to have a deeper conversation with you. You can always provide a detailed case study later. And those are the three portfolio design trends I'm predicting will shape 2026. If you want to get ahead of those trends and save hours of work, I also wanted to remind you about my friend with template Lo-Fi. It's designed to help product UI UX designers just like you build a portfolio that stands out and cuts through the noise. All right, if you want to see a real portfolio that nails all these principles, check out this video.